Welcome to A Kinder World of Commerce. This is Santa Barbara, and I'm Monica Lenches with my co-host Claudia Rucker, bringing you this month's locally owned and socially responsible business, Brighton Solar. Well, welcome, Marine, to A Kinder World of Commerce. Um, I'm so happy to have met you, and I'm very excited to learn more about your business and more about solar energy and panels as well. I don't feel like I'm up to speed, which might mean that maybe our viewers aren't either. So why don't we start with what inspired you to start a socially responsible business and especially in the solar space? Well, thank you so much, Monica. It's a pleasure, me too. I, I've had uh, so much pleasure connecting with you. Well, you know, energy is a very fascinating and dynamic sector, but it also really needs to be reshaped in light of today's biggest challenges or biggest challenge that's climate change. And so after a few years in the private sector, Jeremy and I, Jeremy, my partner, and myself, we really wanted to start our own company and have an impact in our community. We were coming from France, fell in love with Santa Barbara. And so we're, this is it, like we want to settle here. We want to start a business and in the energy sector, we were both, we've always been very eco-conscious and this, is, this has always been part of our um, daily lives. So it made a lot of sense. However, we didn't really know where to start if it was gonna make sense to start a new solar company here in Santa Barbara. So we just started with a pretty thorough market research. We had a blast interviewing so many wonderful local leaders in the construction and uh, energy uh, environmental sectors here. And after some times, after a few months of researching, we're like, okay, well, I think we can have an impact. We, we can really do something different here. And it felt really great. But if the goal of all of this for us is really to help people lower their carbon footprint, have an impact too, we thought, okay, well, it needs to start at home, right? We need to be exemplary and being socially responsible for us just makes a lot of sense. We want people, our people, our team members to feel that they're, they have everything they need to embrace our mission. It was just the mindset that we were in. And when you say that you want your employees to have everything they need, can you say more about that? Well, first, you know, maybe you and you hear it. I, I'm coming from France, and so is Jeremy. So the whole idea of benefits and all of this when you when you're working at a company was very different than you know what we started discovering here, right? Um, health, pension plans, all of that. We kind of feel like we take that for granted when you're in France, but here it's not something that comes automatically with a job, right? So of course, we're gonna set up everything from a, from a medical standpoint. So everything medical, uh, dental, uh, vision, uh, disability, we added a, a pension plan and just it started growing as people were just sharing. Some people were um, willing to, you know, be more part of the company. We recently added on a uh, profit sharing type of program so that if we do succeed as a company, well, so can, you know, our, our employees can benefit from it as well. And it's, it's been a really inter an interactive process with them. And um, that's really great. And let's talk about your company's mission and core values. Our mission is to really lead the transition to a more sustainable, responsible future. And the way we do that is by engineering aesthetic solar solutions that offer forward-thinking clients a profitable investment. And if you think about this, solar is a mean to reach our goal, which is, again, to lower our carbon footprint and work towards a more sustainable sustainable future for all of us, but we understand that it needs to have some practical benefits to our clients. And in terms of our values, the first one for us um, that really is just really deep for us is to is integrity always. One is uh, client focused, one is engineer, engineer minded, impactful and design minded. And in everything that we do, we're trying to implement them the best way we can. As you mentioned, uh, maybe grab a few of those and elaborate on how you operationalize those on a daily basis. How do you make them practical every day? One that's integrity always. We really want to benefit all parties through openness, transparency, fairness, and honesty. Every time that we do something, we need to remind ourselves, is it in the best interest of our customer? Would we do this if it was our parents' home? 
right? Like you want the best for your parents, you want the best for your customer. So we understand that we might not be the best solar company for every client, right? We're, that's That makes sense. But at least the way we serve our community, the way we serve our, our clients is always going to be through integrity. And uh, an example of that is... Um, through the way we uh, offer our equipment. So we don't have any ties with any manufacturer. We understand that all homes are different. And so we need to remain flexible and unbiased. Another example is a lot of people want to add batteries to their, to their homes now so that if there's a power shutdown, they're still you know, protected. Um, but most batteries on the market, especially the very well-known one, if I, if I can, if I can, I will say, you know, the Tesla Powerwall because everybody knows about Tesla. Their chemistries are cobalt based and, and so are most of the battery backup systems on the market today. Um, but now what we want people to understand is that most of the uh, cobalt extraction is not only mined under extremely unethical practices by children in Africa and the Republic of the Congo, uh, but it also represents some safety hazards to uh, our clients' homes. So again, thinking about what makes sense to us, uh, what makes sense to our clients, what's the, safe to, the safest for their homes, we decided from the very beginning, we don't want to touch these batteries and we won't install cobalt-based batteries. And it's a fairly unpopular decision um, because a lot of people ask us to specifically install Tesla batteries, but we have to stick to our guts because we, we do believe that we've done the research and not only it doesn't uh, resonate from an ethical standpoint with who we are, but also we don't think that this is going to serve really the client on the long-term integrity. Um, another one that I like is uh, relation, relationship-based because we really live in a world that's transaction-based, right? Everything is a transaction and everything is, a lot of things are very short-term driven. And what we think is that to build strong connections in the community and to really be impactful, which is one of, another one of our values, we have to think more long-term. And long-term goes through meaningful relationships that carries through time. And so that's why, you know, I was talking about our team members. We want to retain our team members. We want them to embrace our mission and our, all of the benefits that we provide through our um, corporate uh, plans are just an example of that. We want to make them feel valued and, and protected. And so this is how we, we operate um, I'm going to uh, finish by impactful because I think that this is really the, the point of this, of this uh, interaction today to be socially uh, responsible. So when we started Brighton, we realized that one of the reasons why solar was not more implemented was because there were a lot of misconception and the public was not very educated about, you know, solar, at least, you know, the latest about solar. So ways for us to be impactful from the beginning that not only serve our company, but the, you know, the community is uh, by really educating the public um, and, and making sure that they understand, you know, the values of being more, um, environmentally friendly, incorporating those new practices into their daily lives. Uh, we're doing a lot of talks at schools. Uh, we're fundraising for environmentally friendly uh, nonprofits. So that's um, the way we find, you know, how, how we're impactful with, with our time in the community and with our clients. Well, that's a perfect segue into our next question. You know, I've noticed over the years that um, various myths and misconceptions have surfaced. And I'm wondering if you could dispel those and just kind of bring us current as to the advances in solar technology. One of the big misconceptions that we still hear in the community um, is that solar doesn't make sense. Uh, solar doesn't make sense. It doesn't uh, make sense, supposedly, financially. And so a lot of people don't, still don't understand the value of solar. Um, when one goes solar, they generate their own clean power and stop depending on their local utility. Um, so they don't buy the energy from them anymore. They produce and use their own clean energy. 
um, which means that they uh, start saving on their electric bill from day one. And once the system is paid off, after an average of six years, uh, they're getting all of their electricity for free for the remaining 20 plus years. All of the equipment and the production is warranted for 25 years and the maintenance uh, required on a solar system is very limited, which makes it a very safe, low risk uh, type of investment. Um, we like to compare when we're talking with our clients, we like to compare investing on a solar system versus investing on another type of financial product. Uh, we like to show the rate of return. And on average for a solar system, the rate of return is 12%. So most of our, you know, customers who are financially savvy, they understand, well, 12% is, a, is, a, is really high. So then it starts making sense for them and they start understanding, okay, I understand how I'm going to not only recoup my investment and then build up on top of that for the years to come. Another uh, misconception that we still hear a lot is, oh, I would love to have solar on my roof, uh, but my home is not eligible for solar. And so this is something that we hear a lot and in reality, unless one's roof is facing north or receiving very low sunlight, all roofs are solar friendly. Solar can be implemented in, on pretty much any type of roof. And we've worked on, just to give examples, we've worked from clay tile roofs to PVC, flat roofs, and we take care of the waterproofing. There are different techniques for that. And this is really safe for the roof. I just love the transparency and the educational component to the way you guys do business, because at the end of the day, information and knowledge is power, right? It empowers people to make the right choices for themselves and their family. And I feel so honored and excited to know you. My wheels are turning around the different people I want to connect you with and who I want to know you and what you do. Um, your passion and your heart are infectious. And I just look forward to um, creating a kinder world of commerce with you and Jeremy and Brighton Solar. So thank you so much for taking time out of what I know is a very special time for you with a new little one on the way, probably any day now. Maybe at the end of this call. <laughs> thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. I am so happy that we were connected. Uh, as you said, for us, you know, leading this business and this mission in the community is, is a passion. It's what we do. And as our family grows, um, this is how we want to live our lives. And we want to show our kids that um, there are ways to do things differently and better, not only better for themselves and for our you know, very own family, but also for the community. And I think that's how you just create a little kinder humans too. So, that's, uh, I do believe in this, in this virtuous circle. Um, and uh, you're just one example. Thank you for putting all this time out there, giving so much of your time um, for a kinder world of commerce. Thank you so much for having us. It's my pleasure, Marine. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.